What's up, Instagram? Uh, just got back from the gym with Jackie, who is right there. She's helping edit a proposal slash outline that I'm submitting to a publisher for the book I'm working on, which is really exciting. I'll be sharing more about that soon. But right now, I'm just uh, fixing up uh, some breakfast for us. We've been changing our eating window. We're doing like an earlier eating window. So it's a little after 10 right now. We just back from the gym. So about 10.30, we'll have breakfast. And then well, you ate like, what, 3.30 yesterday? And I ate like yeah. 4.30? So moving our, our window of eating and fasting a little bit sooner in the day, it seems to be working well right now. Um, but anyways, I wanted to share some thoughts today. Like I said yesterday, I'm continuing with this daily brainstorms uh, series and I want to do maybe, it's not, maybe not every day, but it's going to be eventually every day, but uh, pr off, more often than not. And today's post that I did on my feed, which if you go to my IGTV um, or my story, you can swipe up and check it out. It's a video with my chiropractor, Dr. Matt Arthur at 909 Spine, which is actually located inside of Athletic Lab, the gym I train at. And the topic today is about walking your talk. And if anyone here has been following me for a minute, uh, you understand that I'm really big on walking my talk. It's really important that we don't just say things that we may have learned or believe, like we actually implement those things in our lives. And today's post that I did, uh, was a little write up about medical professionals and why Dr. Matt is my Cairo, and you know he walks his talk, he trains, and all all those things. And I've had a lot of past criticism with especially the ketogenic diet and me eating high fat, low carb, and people that clearly don't take care of themselves by you know not not just judging them by you know outside appearance, but actually their actions day in and day out. So it's like that old saying like don't smoke a cigarette as someone's smoking a cigarette. It's like well I'm not really going to listen to you. And the other part of that too is when I was originally diagnosed with a brain tumor, prior to that, I'd been going into the emergency room and urgent care multiple times of these debilitating headaches and they kept saying, no, you're, you're healthy, you're young, you have headaches, that's normal. A lot of Americans have headaches. So here's some pain pills, go home, and if you need more, come back. And it wasn't until I hit my head and got a scan that when they accidentally found the brain tumor that I learned like, okay, medical professionals are end all be all, you know, no one knows you and your body better than you. And so if someone's giving you any advice and you feel like you have the intuition, that, that gut feeling that something's off. And especially if they're not, if their actions aren't lining up to their words, then I suggest you go find another doctor because, you know, at the end of the day, they're not a dictator. You know, you're paying money for health insurance and to visit them and they're not, you know, a dictator of your life and your health. And if they're not going to be willing to be on your team as a teammate for your health, fire them and get a new doctor. And I learned that the hard way and that's why I share all I share is because I don't want you guys to have to go through that thinking what I thought that they're up on this pedestal and like, you know, they did all their training, their education, that's great. They know a lot of things, but at the end of the day, they don't know what's going right or wrong inside of you um, better than you do. So that's what the, the talk uh, or the post was about today and what I'm sharing is just about walking your talk. And that leads into my, my phrase of be the change that you wanna see in the world. Because a lot of times, and I've been there myself, a lot of times people voice you know, things they wanna do, things they wanna accomplish, things they wanna see a change in, and they complain, and they complain, and complain. And again, I was there, I did that a lot, and it wasn't until I took my own life, my own choices, and held myself accountable for the things I wanted to see in the world that I started to see changes in my life. And I continue to share these things because they've had profound effects on my life in all areas, you know, health, you know, business, personal relationships, creativity, spirituality, all these things. And it really came down to taking accountability for where I am in my life and where I wanna go. Not just saying I wanna do X, Y, and Z, but really you know, following up with the action, the work, and not just you know, talking, but walking my talk as well. So uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in here now and I'll, uh, I'll try to answer some before I get back to finishing breakfast because I think Jackie might, uh, might fight me if I don't make her food. I made her coffee, so which I actually haven't poured it yet. I gotta give her some. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'd really appreciate it if you go to my recent post and read the post, give me some honest feedback of what you think and let me know what, what uh, you wanna learn more about with me, with Jackie, um, chiropractors, you know, keto, BMX, brain tumors, all that good stuff. And let's see, Gibby Gibsters, what's up, man? Good morning, hope all is well. Bailey Reynolds, hello. Mark Street Trial BMX, hello. Appreciate you guys jumping on. Ethan BMX, hello. Hi, man. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, come to Japan. I actually may be going to Japan. Um, I'll share about that later, but I've never been, and I'm really excited. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do that soon. A lot, of, a lot of high fives. What's up, everyone? Josh Bangers, sup? What's up, man? Hope all is well. 
Lots of some smiley faces. I love it. I get migraines all the time. Ethan, send me a DM. I know we talk a little bit here and there, but send me a DM and maybe we'll hop on a call and um, I can share what I've done that, you know, I used to go through migraines and headaches all the time, even when I was younger. And um, there's lots of things with uh, correlation with high chronic blood sugar levels. So if you eat a lot of processed food, a lot of junk food, or even a lot of fruit, and if your body can't handle it, that can lead to dysfunction in the body and imbalances, which can create headaches. So we'll talk more about that. Roman, hello. What's up, man? Uh, let's see, Brian. What's up, man? I appreciate you hopping on. Shouldn't you be at work? <laughs> come to America. I live in America, Brian. That's not that funny. Do you think that's funny? What? Brian said, come to America. <laughs> I think that's one of my type of jokes. Uh, Mexico. I haven't been to Mexico, but I'd love to get to Mexico someday. It looks amazing. I get migraines in the side of my head. Again, Porter, uh, shoot me a DM and I'd love to chat. Maybe we'll do a, a Zoom or a Skype call with a couple of you. Um, so if you, yeah, if you guys are interested in hopping on a group call and we can, <laughs> oh, Brian's home. He uh, got a tooth pulled yesterday, so he's a little loopy, huh? I bet. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do like a group call and I can talk about my experience with migraines and headaches and what I've done. And honestly, since the brain surgery, I've had a few headaches, which has been nine years, but they've all been attributed to being dehydrated. So that's another thing. If you're not drinking enough water, if you're not adding salt to your foods, if you're not using an electrolyte supplement and you're eating processed foods and high sugar and you're stressed out, that can lead to headaches. So yeah, whoever's interested, shoot me a DM. Maybe we'll set up a, a Skype or a Zoom call with a couple of us and we'll just have a conversation for a little bit. But uh, hey, thanks for joining. But yeah, go um, let me know what you guys think of that recent post and... Yeah, anything else you guys want to know, just shoot me a DM or comment in the comment section of my posts, and I'd love to hear back from all you guys. And thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. Love you all. Have a good day, and we'll talk soon. Peace.